Hey everybody, my name is Das. I wanted to make a quick video. I've been really short on time and I thought I wasn't going to be able to post this weekend, but I've got one broken DVD and one DVD that just came from the factory in a way that I don't like. So I'm just going to fix these. I'm going to show you what I do and where I got it from. Leave a link in the description. <clears throat> and I was going to dig up the way that I repair and restore Xbox 360 games, like the products that I use for that, but it's really buried, so we're just going to do DVDs today. So I'm going to pop all this open, get all this separated, and be right back. Alright guys, so I'm done with phase one, which was opening my package. I bought a pack of five replacement Blu-ray cases. This is what they look like. I can send a direct link to this. These particular cases are designed for three discs. I should have opened that before I started back, but I wasn't thinking. You have the middle divider for three discs, one on each side and one right there. So, I'm going to go through the two problems I have, the two different types of issues that you'll run into. First off, just coming from the factory in the most annoying way possible. This is Star Wars Rogue One, excellent movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll do a uh, video of Rogue One uh, with me actually adding it to my DVD collection. I haven't officially added it yet. So, as you can see, you have one disc over here, and then this is from the factory. They uh, double stack over here, which I'm going to take my time. They double stack, and that's from the factory. This isn't uh, a switched case or anything. That's literally how they come. Now, just to do a quick little, if I can get it open effortlessly, I, I want to do a real comparison between these uh, replacement cases and your standard ones. There's a slight difference. Well, I can't really say for sure because I don't have artwork on the back of it, but it looks like just an ever so slightly different um, shade of blue, maybe. But we'll see whenever I put all this into it. So I'm going to transfer that, and we're going to see how it looks. All right, guys, so I've transferred. This is the new replacement case that I bought online. One thing I will say is that the uh, actual little disc holders right here, they're very kind of almost difficult. I had to force the discs in a little bit. Uh, they're a little difficult to break in, but then once you break them in, they're obviously fine. Uh, let's see here. Let me just do this. So as you can see, this thing is like literally stuck. There we go. Yeah, it's a really tight case to break in. So I have my DVD version in the back, bonus Blu-ray disc, and then uh, Blu-ray movie. Now, there's nothing wrong with the case I took it out of. I'm just going to use it for a two-disc movie. That's all. So that'll still be very useful for me. Just uh, not at the moment, I suppose. But yeah, so keep in mind the case, my particular batch that I got, is very tight around the disc. You have to force it. I'm hoping that that'll break in over time. But no, other than that, um, it's good quality. And as far as the uh, color test, I have a legit regular issue blu-ray disc uh blu-ray case here and that's artwork in the back versus artwork in the back i don't know if it shows up in the camera but there is a uh, color difference you can see more of the white paper here whereas this is a thicker darker blue so i would say the replacements are darker blue than your legitimate uh, blu-ray release cases but this is excellent quality other than the clicky difficultness difficulty oh my god i said difficult uh difficulty of placing the discs in at first i believe that will break in so another issue you might run into is just legitimately a broken case you see that it's broken plastic this one's going to go in the garbage afterwards. I wouldn't even want to remove this and use it as a one disc because that's still damage and my OCD just won't let me. So I'm going to transfer this one as well. And we'll take a look and see how the slip covers fit and make sure there's no differences in girth or anything. So I'll be back. 
All right, guys, so I tried the second one. It was very successful. As you can see, everything is complete. Uh, I like my DVD, my regular DVD, to be in the back because that's the one I actually watch the most. I have my digital copy disc, which I kind of hate to hold on to it, but for the sake of being complete. And then my Blu-ray version and the paperwork. So with this disc, these were not as difficult. Maybe it was... I said disc. I'm sorry, it's late. Well, technically that's right. These discs were less difficult to insert. So maybe it was just that case. I didn't have as much trouble. And I did put a slip cover on the Rogue One. And as you can see, it's perfect. So there's no differences in dimensions. I mean, obviously... I didn't really expect that there would be, but you never know when it comes to buying these products. So that is how I repaired a couple of DVDs tonight. It's just a small project I was going to do on my own, but I said I might as well. Oh, I have a little fly. Um, but anyways, it's just a little um, project I was going to do by myself. I said I might as well record and talk about it. Um also, another thing you could do, I just want to throw it out there for DVD enthusiasts. If you have uh, DVDs that don't come in the bundle that you like, for me, I like mine to come with Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Those three. Blue, yeah, Blu-ray and DVD and digital, just like both of these did. That's my preferred package. Some movies do not. I have not seen Star Wars Episode Nine come in that package, and I have not seen Solo, A Star Wars Story come in that package. What I'm going to do with those movies is custom make it. I'm going to buy the regular DVD individually, buy the Blu-ray double pack with the bonus disc, and put the three discs together in one of these cases and create my own custom movie set. So that's also something you could do with these. They also make other amounts of discs. I bought the three discs. You can get up to six. There's a four, probably a five. I don't know. I know there's a four and a six. So, if you want to um, customize or update some of your existing cases, this is what I recommend. Whenever I send you the link to this, well, this is the trash one, but replacement for this, when I send you that, the other ones should be like in the recommended and stuff, so you should get guided to the others if you need a different amount of discs. I mean, they make single disc, double disc, three, four like I said, they might make five, and I know they make six. So, hopefully this helped somebody. Sorry that the video took so long. I am sorry about that. Seems like time's flying. But thank you guys for checking this out with me. Just wanted to do this and talk about it. So, thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more from me in the future, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.